or you know pulses for the inverter and here one pwm pulse generation ic tl394 okay so it will generate pulses at uh, high frequency here we can adjust the frequency using this variable resistor okay and this one is not gate okay because for the converter we are using two switches which is complement to each other okay so uh, here one pulse will be generated and that is for s1 and for s2 we will provide this pulse to not gate and from that we will provide it to s2 okay and from this pulse pulses it will be given to buffer ic okay because uh, here high frequency pulse is generating and here it is driver side ic so if any uh, sudden uh, ripples are there it will be affected okay so to avoid that we are using one buffer ic it will uh, provide smooth pulses and also isolation purpose okay. and that is given to driver ic for two switches to driver ic okay and for driver ic supply we are using this transformer okay. this transformer to rectifier then from rectifier to capacitor then directly we are providing it to the driver ic yes. okay similarly invert uh, sorry controller will generate the pulses for inverter that is to this buffer ic okay and then it is given to this driver ic okay and that is given to the inverter this one four switches is forms the inverter which bridge inverter and that is given to the step up transformer and low okay. uh, for the controller and this uh, pulse generator and this driver ic we are getting the uh, power from this transformer okay and for the main circuit we are getting the power from this pv plus battery okay for uh, this controller and this ic is we need 5 volt buffer ic this ic we need 5 volt okay and for this driver ic we need 12 volt okay so it is given to this uh, rectifier and from rectifier we will get 12 volt dc that is given to this driver ic is and here same thing we rectifier after that one 5 volt regulator is used and from that regulator it is given to this controller plus this ICs nice. okay. and here uh, this one is the converter off bridge LLC converter or we can say it as CLLC two capacitors we are using okay and from S1 battery or panel to S1 when the S1 is on okay it will charge this capacitor plus this transmitter coils Okay. and when s1 is on uh, sorry off s2 will be on when s2 is on these capacitors will provide energy to the okay. coils okay so continuous supply we will get okay. um, other than that uh, from again from the battery we are providing the power to the inverter h bridge inverter s1 s2 s3 s4 s1 and s2 will be on and provided to the transformer and for negative cycle, S3 and S4 will be on. Okay. Here we will get uh, nearly 200 volt. Okay. 12 volt to inverter, inverter to this transformer, transformer to load. Here we will get nearly 200 volt. Uh, we are providing parallel connection, so the voltage will be equally distributed across the transmitter coils. And when the vehicle moves, okay. Vehicle, vehicle moves across this only uh, energy will be induced in this coil in this coils very low energy will be maintained okay when it moves okay here the energy will be increased and here energy will start to reduce because there is no load across this okay so for that purpose we are using parallel connection on this